Hey what's up it's Hugo here and today I'm going to go through the process of installing Mac OS X Mountain Lion with you guys. For some of you guys want to see how I installed the new update uh, for Mac OS X or simply want to uh, try before you buy or see how it unfolds the installation. It's really really uh, easy to install and uh, it just got released today about 10 minutes ago in my country at least and we're going to see if it's uh, all working. So. Let's go ahead and launch up the Mac App Store because that's where we're going to be getting it. Uh, so if you're on Mac OS X Lion or Snow Leopard, that's pretty much the only way you can get it at the moment. Once you've launched it up, you should pretty much see it everywhere. Uh, it should be featured on the home page, probably in the top page anytime soon as well, uh, or in the uh, new and remarkable uh, section. Uh, but if, it, if you really can't find it, just uh, look it up here, Mountain Lion, you should be able to find it. But we're going to go ahead and click on the banner here. And it's kind of the description page uh, here. Now, a few things I highly recommend you do before actually installing uh, Mac OS X Mountain Lion is first off to back up your Mac, uh, back up your files, your applications, stuff like that. Everything that's important to you, make sure you make a backup. You can do that with the Apple Time Machine software that you usually already get with your Mac. Uh, or you can do it with another application. I personally use Carbon Copy Cloner, which I think is a great application. It's really handy if you want to just back up uh, one hard drive to another one. So I use that to uh, back up my Mac to an external hard drive. And the second thing I also recommend you do uh, is uh, updating all your applications. So if you go in your updates here of the Mac App Store, go ahead and install all the updates first so that you know all your applications are uh, usually mountain line uh, ready at that point. So. That's pretty much the, the few things I recommend you guys to do and uh, let's uh, see how the installation goes here. <coughs> Alrighty, there we go. It's uh, started to download Mountain Lion. Now actually I had about an hour and a half uh, break in between the start of this video and now because Mountain Lion was supposedly not available so I had to try again later. So I did have uh, a few issues. Maybe it's because it just recently came out that uh, they had some issues with it, but uh, after a while, um, it finally did uh, manage to start downloading. So now it's downloading. We're going to check how much time it's going to roughly take, um, and I'll be uh, keeping you guys up to date on how much time it took to download uh, Mountain Lion. So there we go. It finished downloading Mac OS X Mountain Lion, and it took me about 7 minutes and 40 seconds roughly to download it. So 7 and a half minutes roughly uh, to download it, but of course depending on the speed of your connection, it might go faster or uh, slower. So uh, most probably slower. I do remember downloading uh, Mac OS X Lion, and that was uh, slightly faster. I remember having a little under 7 minutes. So. Uh, it still downloads relatively uh, quickly and as soon as you finish downloading it you'll be uh, prompted here or you have a little window popping up saying that uh, Mountain Lion is ready to be installed so let's go ahead and click on continue here well first off we have to agree and I've read this all of course uh, beforehand so I didn't need to read it during the uh, video <clears throat> and then uh, you can choose on which hard drive it will be installed right now the only hard drive connected to my computer is Macintosh HD so uh, it will automatically choose that for you and it's gonna start installing uh, Mountain Lion now it will ask you for your password go ahead and enter that in and there we go it's gonna start installing Mac, uh, Mac OS 10 Mountain Lion now it says about three minutes remaining that does not mean it will take only three minutes to install Mountain Lion uh, in about three minutes, it will restart your computer and then it will actually start uh, downloading, I mean, sorry, installing uh, Mountain Lion. So there we go. It's actually already finished. I did not even need to wait uh, three minutes. But as you can see, my computer will automatically restart in about 20 seconds here. So uh, I'll be back in about, uh, as soon as my computer is restarted, I'll be back. And uh, then it will actually start uh, installing Mountain Lion. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, since then I cannot really record my screen during this whole uh, process of restarting my Mac and installing Mac OS X Mountain Lion, I went ahead and recorded it with a camera. Now what it really does is restart your Mac, then it's going to go ahead and start installing uh, Mountain Lion, which should take about uh, 30 to 40 minutes, and then it's going to restart your Mac again. So uh, this whole process of restarting my Mac twice and installing uh, Mountain Lion took me about 15, 50 sorry, minutes in total. So uh, that's all right, it's not too long of a process, <coughs> Windows. But uh, let's go ahead and get back to the desktop here and I'll show you some of the options I'm going to tweak in the system preferences here right away. 
So there we go, we are back on the desktop and Mac OS X Mountain Line has been installed. Now you can go ahead and click on the little Apple logo uh, in your menu bar and click on about this Mac and you'll be able to see that uh, you are running Mac OS X version 10.8. So if it says 10.8, that means you're running Mountain Line. Now it could be saying 10.8 point another number depending on when you're actually getting the update. So that doesn't really matter, it's just the first number that matters which is the level 8 here, that means you're running uh, Mountain Lion and everything uh, went smoothly. So next up I want to quickly go ahead and go into the system preferences here and tweak some options right away because I know there's a few things I want to change in here. Now the first thing I want to look into is the security and privacy options here. Now you might uh, have to unlock uh, the options here by clicking on the little unlock button. Uh, the first thing I want to look into is the uh, allow applications downloaded from option which is new in mountain line and by default it's set to the uh, mac app store and identify developers and i want to go ahead and set that to allow from anywhere now this is really up to you what you think is more secure uh, but i really like to be able to run any applications that i've downloaded from anywhere and that's how it used to be in mac os 10 line uh, so if you download some random uh, applications from the web that might not be from an identified uh, developer uh, you might want to look into this option and uh, set it to anywhere so that's uh, the first thing I want to look into now the second thing I want to look into is the notifications options here now here you can go ahead and choose which applications are, are going to give you notifications and you can also choose which kind of notifications so you have uh, badges sounds alerts and banners even and you can go ahead and set that all up in here. Now to actually access the notification center, it's quite simple. You can go ahead and click on the little button next to the spotlight button in your menu bar here, which is new to Mountain Lion, and you'll see that your whole wallpaper will uh, shift to the left and uh, you'll be able to access the notification center. Now you can also uh, activate this with the trackpad. You can simply swipe with three fingers to the left and it will also uh, activate the uh, notification center. So. Uh, that's also a new feature in Mountain Line. Uh, the thir third thing I want to look into is the iCloud option. Now, this isn't really new to Mountain Line. This was already available in Mac OS X Line, but I just personally recommend you look into this uh, just to make sure that you have all these options set as you want them to be. So, uh, this is definitely not new to Mountain Line, but I highly recommend you look into it and look in case there's any warnings and stuff like that. Uh, you might want to. Uh, set uh, certain things up to make sure that everything is backed up in the cloud so that's for iCloud not new but I just recommend you look into that uh, next to the iCloud options we have the mail contact and calendar options now there's definitely some new stuff in here uh, in mountain line you're actually able to uh, log in to a lot of different services uh, now depending where you live there might be different services or more services that you can log into but this is actually really handy for example if you want to log into Twitter uh, you simply need to uh, in enter your username and password and once you've done that you'll be able to uh, use Twitter everywhere so you won't be needing to log in into Twitter anymore so for example you're browsing the web in Safari and you want to share uh, a web page or, or a picture that you find on the internet you can go ahead and access the Twitter button uh, right away so that's really handy once you've logged in uh, into services in your system preferences here you won't be needing to log in into them again so that's a really cool uh, and handy feature you might want to enable it or not depending on how secure you think it is uh, but I still think it's uh, definitely really handy so there's some new stuff in here as well uh, last but not least I want to look into the dictation and speech options here that is definitely new to mountain lion and I think this is really really handy uh, by default it's uh, set to uh, it's turned off you might go and uh, put it on and what this allows you to do is pretty much uh, talk instead of type so uh, you can go ahead and double tap your function key in on your keyboard and you'll be able to simply talk to your Mac and it will type everything you say to it uh, for you so you can use this in any text field uh, anywhere any application it doesn't really matter where you use it as long as it's a text field you can go ahead and activate this uh, dictation feature so I think it's really handy and here you can go ahead and choose on how to activate it, which languages you want to use and I'm sure they'll add more languages throughout the updates as well so don't worry about that and you can go also uh, ahead and choose which microphone you want to use here on the left so I recommend you go ahead and uh, look into these options and uh, set them up 
uh, as you want to. So that's pretty much all I want to look into into system preferences. Uh, you might also uh, want to look into these new applications that have automatically been added to your dock. By the way, this is a new shiny dock. Uh, you might have not noticed that right away, but I think it's a really good looking dock. But these two little applications here, reminders and notes, will automatically be added to your dock. And these will also be automatically synchronized uh, to your other Apple devices. So you might want to look into these uh, new features. Now I'll be sure to make other videos going uh, more in depth into certain uh, features that have been added into Mountain Lion. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll thank you a lot for watching this uh, video. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.